Okay, today we are going to talk about all of the Japanese drugstore sunscreens, which I feel like for sunscreen, the Japanese drugstore products is just the best choice for me personally. They are all so affordable and they give you a lot, like a lot of um, products. It's not like the 30, 40 grams little tubes. They are mostly like more than 50, 60 grams for like per bottle or tube. And it's usually not greasy, not heavy, like feels great on the skin. And they also give you like perfect or like great protection. So yeah, that's my favorite place to shop for sunscreen. And I basically tried, I mean, maybe not, maybe not all of them, but definitely most of the popular ones. So today let's talk about them. The first, I want to start with these two, which I feel like this build um, in Japan, they were uh, pronounced Biole. So let's just call this brand Biole. The Biole UV Aqua Rich uh, Watery Essence. I feel like this is probably one of the most well-known Japanese, Japanese uh, drugstore sunscreens all over the world. And it is great. It's my favorite um, sunscreen. And this year, they also uh, released this spray one. This is the Biole UV Aqua Rich Aqua Protect Mist. And I thought I would just compare them two. And I made some notes uh, of how I, uh, what I thought when I um, tried this. And I also have some like try on clips. And you can just hear my opinion while you are um, watching all of those comparison clips. So for this one, for me, it's almost a perfect sunscreen. It's obviously is affordable. Is there's like, this is an actual large tube which has a hundred and five grams of product. There's no white cast. It's not oily. It says on your skin so quickly it doesn't like give you this like greasy sticky feeling for long and also it's easy to rub in probably because there's not much um, color to it it's basically translucent and makeup sits on it great that I never had any like trouble problem applying makeup on top of this and yeah, that, that's basically it. It's like perfect, like I said. There's nothing wrong about this. Other than the smell of it has like some like alcohol in it. Yeah, but I feel like this year the alcohol smell has been like a little bit more faint than it was before. So even for that, I feel like it's not a big problem unless you're allergic to alcohol or something because I'm sure there's alcohol in, in here. Yeah, the second ingredient is alcohol. So yeah, just keep in mind, this is, there's a lot of alcohol in it. But like I said, this year, they formulated this um, with less alcohol smell to it. So it doesn't bother me at all. And my skin does not feel sensitive with this. And this one, this spray in the name, it's like a right up, it's like a aqua mist. You would think it's like a watery mist, right? And it's also like almost sounds like water, but for me, it's more of like a dry oil spray, it's a bit oily. Uh, when you rub it in your skin, it doesn't like it doesn't bother you. It's not like super sticky oily, but like when you first spray on your skin, it feels like water. But when you are rubbing it, it feels like the dry oil type of texture. It's not like bothering me that much, but yeah, I thought I would just mention it. It doesn't uh, completely feel like water when you rub it but it does set super quick. And 
I have some feeling about this. First of all, this spray one has very, very strong alcohol smell. And when I was applying this, I feel like my eyes is a little bit sensitive. It's probably because uh, the alcohol in this evaporates from my face and it just gets in your eye and your eye feels sensitive. If you have very sensitive eyes, I'm not sure if you would like this. And the smell, I might already mention, but the smell is like, like a very strong alcohol. But it sets really, really, really quick, like way more quick than this. And obviously it's like very easy to rub in because the liquid is like almost translucent and it's a, a, a spray, so it's very quick. It's like this and it's done. Um, but there's one thing, when I am applying foundation on this, it's sitting on top for just a tiny little bit. Not like anything super noticeable, it's just comparing with this one, um, the spray one is probably suddenly just a touch more. Um, but overall, I still think it's a great um, choice, great option. Because for me, I use this on my body. I'm purely reviewing this, so I need to like compare it to the other one. So I just use it on my face. But yeah, in practical, I don't use this on my face. I just use it on my body, like my arm, which is very easy to use because it's a spray and it's easy to rub in. It has a little bit oily feeling in the beginning, but it dries super quickly and the alcohol don't bother my arm <laughs> so yeah there's nothing wrong with that for me like as long as I don't use it on my face um, but if you do want to find mist to use on the face and you have sensitive skin and sensitive eyes I don't think I would like recommend that and the second one is like color correcting sort of um, sunscreen this one is Skin Aqua Tone Up Essence. Um, oh, maybe I didn't mention, but I believe all of the products I am talking about today is like SPF 50 PA++++. I think that's just the standard um, number um, in Japanese sunscreens. Most sunscreens are like that. And the other one is the can make mermaid skin gel UV. These are both pretty great sunscreens. They are not sticky, they're easy to rub in. But one thing is this one, the skin aqua one, um, is like a more actual green sort of green. It's not mint, it's like green, like it's a darker color. So it does not have a uh, much white cast. It has a little bit, but not too much. But this one is a mint color, so the white cast of this is crazy. It's like super, super strong white cast. So I don't know if you can use this if you have like a medium skin. I have light medium skin tone, so this one, and also I apply sunscreen on my face and on my neck, so it's like blend in. It doesn't affect me too much. In the uh, clip where I apply this, I didn't apply on my neck because I want you to see how much uh, like white cast this one has. But in real life, if I use this, I don't care because I uh, also apply on my neck. But yeah, if you are anywhere like deeper than a medium skin tone, I wouldn't recommend because even if you apply on your neck, it might still give you a little bit like gray cast because it's like mint, you know. For makeup uh, application, I would say I much prefer this one, even though it has that like very strong white cast, but makeup applied beautifully on top of this. Oh, I forgot to mention, this one is the, the mint color, like I said. And there is a not mint color, like the normal one. I have used that one um, for a long time. 
as well and I like that one that one has a little bit white cast as well but not as crazy as this one so um, if you want this formula but you don't want this color just don't buy this like bluey bottle mint one there it is I believe that the, the original one has like a grayish like super packaging rather than minty green um, so this one this one when I apply makeup on top of this I don't think it looks bad but but it looks like very cakey on this area for some reason I believe it's probably because I have larger pores here so foundation is just easier to like suddenly in this area so yeah I'm I don't think this is like perfect for apply under makeup if you um, have bigger pores like I do but I do like to use this one whenever I'm not applying any makeup I'm just applying sunscreen and maybe some translucent powder when I'm using this in that way I like this because yeah the true green tone of this can cancel some of my redness on my face I like this one but just not under makeup okay the next one are these two the Ali gel UV EX and the Anissa protect UV sunscreen mild milk for sensitive skin this one like the name said is like a UV gel and it has some white cast um, but it's not sticky at all and it's not hard to apply it doesn't feel heavy on your skin and makeup look beautifully underneath this as well it's just one thing is the white cast it has i won't i don't want to say pretty bad white cast but it is considered a a solid a solid white cast when you apply it um, especially because i am um i have olive skin tone I feel like the, the white cast just for some reason look more intense on the olive skin tone. I don't know why. And this Anissa uh, sunscreen, if you don't know, um, there is a very popular, not popular, but very well known sunscreen line in Shiseido. Not the company, like the actual Shiseido brand. Um, it's, called something like protection as well i believe it's very popular in western beauty community as well and it's very expensive like 50 dollars or something like that um, but this i think this brand is one of those brands in a very big makeup or beauty company they dupe themselves their with their own brand do you know what i'm talking about like they have like more example expensive very well-known popular line and they dupe themselves with similar formulation similar branding but a cheaper brand uh, this is not confirmed so don't quote me on that this is how, just how i feel i feel like this is the the line shiseido did to copy their own sunscreen line in their shiseido brand so whenever i use this like uh physical sunscreen where it's like this you have to shake it i go for this brand because it's like a more expensive brand at the drugstore but it's way cheaper it's like a third of the price of uh, shiseido and it's like works I don't want to say it completely the same way but it's a similar way it's similar stuff similar formula even and this is um like i said those like shaker bottles um physical sunscreen it's the mild milk they also have the like the original one which is you know golden bottle which is very very budge proof sweat proof but that that one i sometimes feel like if i am not washing my body if i apply on my body if i i'm not washing it way with body soap like twice it's not gonna come off my arms is still like waterproof uh when i am um, like out of the shower i re really have to apply body soap twice to um take that off but for this one it's not that hard to um, take off 
and I thought for daily use I don't need that strong of a waterproof effect I don't sweat a lot either so yeah this is my choice and it's for sensitive skin even though I don't have sensitive sensitive skin I would prefer a more like gentle formula which this one is it doesn't make my skin feel like any sensitive or anything and oh <laughs> um it doesn't smell like um uh, alcohol yeah yeah I don't think it smells like alcohol which is actually kind of amazing because this this kind of product usually has a lot of alcohol in it but there's one thing with physical sunscreen that it's kind of n unavoidable to have a um, white cast because the concept of it they would use I would put the name um, on the screen but it's this ingredient it's like white powder they basically use that ingredient to reflect the light away so that it wasn't um, absorbed in your skin and why it's a physical sunscreen because it's like a reflection it does not absorb the the sun the uv rate right um and also it does not require to uh reply if it's not like if you are not sweating a lot because like i said it's like a reflection so it won't become um, ineffective with time passing by whereas the chemical sunscreen is not reflecting the light it's absorbing the light so when it's absorbed the light for a certain amount of time it becomes ineffective and that's why you would reply reapply but with physical sunscreen there's nothing like that it's as long as you're not wiping it off, you're not sweating it off, it's always, it's always um, effective. That's the upside about it. But I just don't like the very oily feeling and the white cast this kind of physical sunscreen give me. So if I would wear this, I 100% will wear um, makeup on top of it. Um, and when it comes to makeup application, I would just say makeup apply better on top of this, but it, it's not bad. It doesn't look bad on top of this either. It's just depending on what kind of product you, you like. Um, I think this one still makeup apply a little, little bit more smoother on top of this, but like I said, it makeup apply on top of this fine nice yeah it just depends on what kind of product you like they are having white cast in the same level this one is a little bit weightier and this one is a little more gel like it's similar stuff um it just depends on do, do you want physical sunscreen do you want physical sunscreen or um, chemical for the next one both of these are purple like lavender color correcting sunscreens this one is the sun cut tone up uv essence this one is the same brand sun cut pro defense tone up uv sunscreen stick so i'm thinking they are the same line it's just in different form but but this one is very similar to this one um are they the same company oh no this is from Lot and this is from Kose so not the same brand but it's very similar formula it's like very easy to rub in easy to apply um, formula and it has lavender sort of tint so it does give you a little bit white cast because it's like tone up you know it's like brightening you um, complexion so pay attention if your skin tone is like deeper than maybe medium or medium tan um, and overall there's nothing wrong to say about it if you apply it on itself if you're gonna apply makeup on top I find there's the same thing happen with this one like the foundation just settle in this area settle into the pores um, so I would say it's like the same kind of formula and I'm thinking if there's something in here this kind of color correcting product make it 
not performing well under makeup. I don't know. Like they are the same. They make um, foundation settle into your pores a little bit more. Not a little bit more. They just like make the foundation settle into your pores a little bit. But this one, the comic one, doesn't do that. So I don't. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I only use this whenever I'm not wearing makeup and I am almost finishing this because it's like a very very nice fitting on the skin if you're not applying makeup. Um, so yeah, I love this if I'm wearing this without makeup. And this one is the same purple tint, the same kind of white cast if you would prefer to call that way. Um, but I don't like the formula because, first of all, it's a stick and it's a very stiff stick. It feels like rubbing soap on your skin. It's not like the actual soap fitting, but the, the stiffness, the texture of this stick feels like a bar of soap. It actually kind of smell, smell like soap as well. The concept of it is very convenient. But when you actually apply it, I feel like it's not so convenient because first of all, it's hard to tell if you are applying an even layer. With these kind of products, maybe there's a white cast, but I almost feel like because of the gel texture and the white cast, the color of it, it's very easy to tell if I am applying very even layer because if it's not even, you can see it, the color is not even. But with this one, it's a stick. It's not a gel, so it's not. It's very hard to know if I am like applying enough, if I am covering a uh, area enough with enough product. On top of that, like I said, it's like a very hard stick. I feel like I'm dragging my skin, and it feels a little bit waxy on the skin. And when you are going to blend it. It almost feel like it's not blending <laughs> um, because it's already st stick to your um, skin. So I kind of just like like very roughly like rub it in a little bit because I can't blend much because of the very waxy texture. But with that being said, the white cast is same level as this one, and makeup doesn't apply bad on top of this. So. It's, it's still not bad, I just don't like the texture, like I said. So the last one, this is like actually not drugstore, but it's also drugstore price. The brand is called Parado, which is the uh, private beauty brand of 7-Eleven. So you can get this very conveniently. I'm, I'm not sure if all, all around Japan because I'm not sure if every um, 7-Eleven store is carrying this line. But yeah, this is their private brand. Most 7-Eleven carry this, so it's very easy to get. And it's very affordable. And on top of that, there is almost no white cast. And it rubs in your skin very easily. It's not oily at all. It's like a very pleasant um, gel texture. One single thing weird about this is it smells very weird. It's not a smell that you would expect a sunscreen to smell. I don't know if this thing is also outside of Asia. Um, if you don't know, I am. I am a Chinese and I grew up in China. And there's this thing that's like, basically it's like a soap that you make bubble with it. They give you a stick and they give you like a jar of soap water and you dip the stick into it and blow the stick and there's bubble coming outside of it. And this smells specifically similar or identical to that soap water. That soap water doesn't smell like typical soap. I feel like I don't know if anything it maybe smell like gas. I, I don't know. It smells like the byproduct when you are producing gas. I don't know what a byproduct of gas smell like, but you know the idea of it make you feel like it's the, the byproduct of a gas. 
when you're producing gas might smell like that. It's not a bad smell. Like maybe it sounds terrifying by my description. It's just a weird smell and. When you rub it in your skin, there's uh, you don't smell that anymore, so it's not a big problem. I thought I would just mention it because this smells different than any of the other sunscreen I have today. My skin doesn't feel sensitive, and this even said it can be used to babies that's older than six months, so it must be not super like harsh on your skin, right? But yeah, it's a great sunscreen other than the weird smell. And makeup applying amazing on top. Today I'm wearing this sunscreen underneath uh, the makeup, and I love it. Let's um, pick what's my best favorite among those nine sunscreens. Okay, my top favorite, my top top favorite would be this one, because I mean I this is my favorite my favorite for years and even by trying all of these this is still my favorite because it's i mean to be fair all of these are not like super oily feeling especially the gel ones but yeah this is not oily this is easy to rub in it doesn't make makeup set weird if you wear this underneath makeup it's super affordable this whole tube may be like somewhere around eight dollars and it's like a hundred five gram it can use both on the face and on the body and there's no white cast so if you are uh, people of color you have deeper skin tone I would say just go for this one because yeah it's just perfect there's no white cast whatsoever it just gives you like a very very strong glow I would say that it's like borderline oily looking glow um, if you would like that um, just just buy this one I just feel like this is the perfect sunscreen period it's not like drugstore high-end things like that no this is just the best sunscreen period for the color correcting one, I would say if I would not wear makeup, probably this one is my favorite because it's like this green color. Um, this line they also have like three other colors. I believe they have like lavender, peach, rose, and this green one. And because I have olive skin tone and my, my face sometimes has a little bit of redness, this one is just works the best on me. It's like a very pleasant feeling if you apply this on your face. It's not, it's like a watery gel. Um, it just doesn't apply the best under makeup. So yeah, if I would use, and it does give you some color correcting effect. So yeah, this is what I would wear if I am not wearing makeup. And also, if I would want to wear some sunscreen under makeup with some color corrector, I would choose this one. Even though it has pretty bad um, white cast, almost ghost looking, but makeup just applies so beautiful on top of this. I don't know what it is. It's just so perfect on top of this. If you don't like this kind of like super strong mint color, just buy the normal one. The normal one works the same. It's just, it just don't have the color. And also something um, surprised me is this powder one. It's like, like I said, it just smells weird. Other than that, it's the perfect sunscreen as well. Um, and also this Ali one. I feel like something weird about this is it performs different every day. <laughs> So sometimes I feel like, oh, this is such a perfect sunscreen, like under makeup, makeup just um, applies so beautifully on top. And someday I feel like makeup um, might not apply as beautiful. So I feel like it might have something to do with the skincare underneath because I am all wearing the same sort of foundation on top of all of these foundation, all of these sunscreens. So it shouldn't be a difference of like the finish, 
So I'm just thinking this one is probably a little bit picky with what skincare you're wearing. And also, actually, all of um, these two, the color correcting ones, sometimes they can peel a little bit as well. So I feel like in general, these like color, cor color correcting ones, it's just not so great for wearing underneath makeup. And this one, um, and this one. I feel like they are both great product. I just don't like the oily feeling of it, but I would still use them because I can just use them on my body. It's not a big problem. And if you don't like to reply the sunscreen, but you care about the, the sunscreen needs re-application, um, Probably you can just buy this one because it's physical sunscreen. It does not require the touch-up applications. Uh, it just has like uh, the oily feeling and the the white cast. Uh, but it's kind of an avoidable thing with this kind of physical sunscreen. Unless you buy one of those tinted ones, which I'm thinking maybe I would try. And this one, even though it uh, smells like alcohol but I still like it because I use it on my body it's super easy to rub in it's not sticky once it sets and it, there's no color to it and it's very um, like easy to apply because it's a mist I feel like the only thing that I truly truly don't like is this stick the only thing that's here in all of the nine products I have tried this is the only sunscreen that I I don't really like because of the texture it's so waxy it feels like rubbing a bar of soap on your skin and it's hard to tell if you are applying an even layer and it drags your skin because of the hard texture it's convenient it's it doesn't look bad under makeup surprisingly um, so so yeah, I, I still feel like the stick sunscreen is more of a gimmicky concept rather than useful. But I would still uh, finish this. But yeah, I this is probably the least favorite one among all of the ones I tried. If I would just make one recommendation, this this would be the, the one recommend recommendation I will like give to anybody unless you're uh, allergic to alcohol then i'm sorry this one has alcohol as their like second ingredient so you might not be able to use this but yeah other than that this is the perfect option i think not only in drugstore like among all of the japanese brands i i haven't tried much uh, from other uh, countries brands um, but yeah among all of the Japanese sunscreens no matter high-end or drugstore I think this is the best one and yeah that's today's video I hope it's helpful and informative for you and thank you for watching bye